Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. Now, Bam Adebayo was telling Eric Spolster that he wants to have a bigger responsibility on the Miami Heat. I definitely agree. I think Bam Adebayo, he's a 25-10 and 10 guy, very versatile. This is a guy that's 6'9", can take the ball up the court like a point guard. He has great court vision. He can guard one through five. He's been robbed of DPOY year after year after year. This is a guy where he's continually improved his game over the years. He's finally taking that mid-range shot. He's finally being that Bam out of bio that we all know and love to be aggressive. I just think that he's going to have to take the keys. Right now, Jimmy Butler, he's an older Jimmy Butler. Kyle Lowry, he's an older Kyle Lowry. You know, So he's going to have to take this reins. He's going to have to take the keys to this team. Udonis has him. This is his last year. He's going to be the culture guy. He's going to be the guy that we look to to take us over the hump, to close out certain games, along with Tyler Hero. So now Bam Adebayo also said, I have to collaborate with Spo, the 25-year-old said, because he knows I'm ambitious. I want to have a bigger load. I want to have a bigger responsibility on this team and not just on the defensive end. And I agree. I think that when you have an aggressive Bam Adebayo, the NBA is in trouble. No one's really used to Bam taking over games. Chris at Porzingis was like, man, I've never seen him play like this when he dropped 38 on the Wizards. Of course, Bam Adebayo is going to need help. I think they have Bam Adebayo doing way too much. They're counting on him too much to help defend. He has to literally double team. He has to do so much. They have him in the pick and roll. I think he has to do too much on the defensive end. He needs guys. He needs better perimeter defenders, guys that are great wing defenders, which we don't have. The only good wing defender that we really have is Jimmy Butler and Victor Lodipo when he's healthy, and sometimes Kyle Lowry. But other than that, Max Struess, Tyler Hero, Duncan Robinson, uh, sometimes Gabe Vincent, he's a little bit too small. They're all kind of defensive liabilities. And it's not their fault because sometimes we have them playing out of their roles. We have them playing like starters when they're role players. So hopefully when we get healthy, you know, our perimeter defenders can improve. And maybe if we make a trade or so. But like I said, I think that going forward, this is Bam Adebayo's team. You know, Jimmy, Kyle, and UD, they're not going to be here much longer. They're closer to the end of their careers. It's time for Bam to evolve. I think he's an all-star. He's going to be the DPOY this year. And I just think if he could be a 25-10 and 10 player, he's unstoppable. I just think he has to continue to grow his bag along with Tyler Hero because this team is going to be counting on Tyler Hero a lot. They're the cornerstones. They're the ones that got the money. The Miami Heat have committed to both of them. They've shown the Miami Heat that they can improve their game. It's, so now it's just time for them to go out there and show it for both of them. But like I said before, I'm happy that Spoh's willing to give Bam Adebayo a, a much bigger workload. I just think that when Jimmy Butler comes back, I still need that aggressive Bam Adebayo. 25 and 10. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 1,000 subscribers.